Hi all. So I want to talk about a breaking change that uh, Amazon made with uh, with S3 that uh, that in my web class today when I was trying to show say uh, say labels or I'm sorry say it. Uh, it actually caused it to not work. Um, those of you who are in my cloud computing class, uh, you might be bumping your head up against this as well. Um, so what I had done in the class is uh, is I had tried to delete and recreate my uh, my bucket. So I recreated the bucket now. It's brand new. Uh, there's actually nothing in here, as you can see. Um, let me go ahead and uh, and try to uh, right. So my my Chalice server uh, is running. So let me go ahead and uh, and just open up that right. So. Um, this is a test. It should fail. All right, and so I click say it, and it chugs away. We get the little error message, right? Says uh, this page uh, says error, right? Notice I'm getting a little uh, internal server error here. But now, if I go over to uh, to my my terminal, uh, I see the uh, I see the stack trace, right? So if I uh, if I kind of look through this, right? Notice um, I get this uh, Bodo core exception. An error occurred. Access denied when calling put object ACL operation. Access denied. Um, right. So this is this is basically happening in the uh, in the upload code right so the upload code has the uh, code to uh, to basically make the object uh, the object publicly readable okay um, so here's essentially what's going on if I go back to uh, to s3 um, one of the things you'll note so if I kind of scroll down through here right so here's uh, here's the, that particular bucket and take a look at the description here right so other buckets that I had created previously notice they have objects can be public um, this bucket has a, a basically says this bucket and objects are not public. Okay, so this is actually what's causing that problem. Um, essentially, what AWS has done is they've set things up so that when you create a bucket, even if I'm specifically making the API call to make things public, it's not by default going to allow those things to be public. Um, certainly, it's debatable whether that's a, whether that's a, a good feature or not. I know they're making arguments on behalf of security, um, but nevertheless, this is what's causing it to break. So let me show you how to fix this, right? It's actually fairly simple. So I'm going to go over to the bucket itself, right here I am, and I'm going to go to permissions. And uh, then I'm basically going to go to the uh, to the edit option right here. So I click on edit, and there's these two options right at the top, block new public ACLs and uploading public objects. So I need to turn that off. Um, and I also need to turn off this second one. If I if I, um, if I only do the uh, the first one, it's still not going to work, right? So let me go ahead and, uh, and uncheck that one as well. So notice these two top these two top ones are unchecked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click save and then I have to type confirm in here to uh, to confirm those changes. Okay, so that should actually be all that I actually that I that I need to do, right? So now when I come back here, um, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure uh, is it still running? Uh, not entirely sure. Let me go ahead and uh, kill that just in case and then I will uh, rerun Chalice Local, right? And there it says it's uh, it's um, it's serving locally, and then basically I can just come over to. I'm actually sorry. Go back over to uh, to my web form. Let me go ahead and uh, and do that. Okay, this should now work, and we'll click say it, right? And notice now this should now work. Everything is uh, everything is happy. Okay, so. Hopefully that uh, that clears up the confusion and all of that. Again, if you're in my uh, if you're in my cloud computing and you're sort of seeing this error when you're working on things and all, that's uh, that's how you fix that. And likewise for the web students, uh, that's the uh, that's the fix for what we saw in class.